da 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 well okay time to start another stream hey everybody it's me jack and tonight i'm going to celebrate another national month yeah it's it's national pride month and all month, I'm going to celebrate a little something that's related to pride and and respecting and having a, a positive opinion and acceptance of different different things in our lives, and uh, and I'm going to do that through games, yeah, through games, but it's also a National Soul Month. Yeah, Soul Month. What does that mean? Well, uh, yeah, so, yeah, I'm going to explain what is Soul Month. And I'm going to start tonight's stream. I'm going to talk about soul music. That's right, soul music. And I don't know, if you want a little bit of a taste of it, if you want a little bit of a taste of it, uh, of what that is, sounds like, um, there's a new Pixar movie called Soul. And it plays with the words. There's many different meanings to the word soul, and that Pixar movie talks about it. But, but for tonight's stream, I'm going to get right into the real definition, the real meaning, only one meaning, only one definition of soul music. Okay. So why don't we get, let's just, let's just get started. Okay. Let's get started. About what soul music is and, and where it came from. In America's early history, a very unfortunate history, uh, we had slavery. And slavery uh, was a serious uh, industry, it was a big industry in America for a really, really, really long time. And in the American South, the slaves lived and worked um, very terrible conditions. Uh, uh, you know, farming the fields and working the factories and all of that uh, in the American South. And to be, because they were human beings. Uh, they, they needed to find a meaning and a purpose to life. They needed to find ways to inspire that will to live under those terrible conditions. And they found it through their religion, through their faith. Most of the African Americans who were slaves were Christian. They found peace and they found safety in Christianity and also in the music of Christianity. And they would learn and sing Christian songs, which we call gospels. Gospels is songs uh, for Christians. Think of like, maybe you can think of like Christmas carols. Right? They are a kind of gospel. But the music that the slaves would sing, the African Americans would sing, were not just for Christmas, of course. That's just an example. They, they would sing all year round, all day long, and, and in the fields and in the factories, and all night to give themselves some rest, some peace. And, and, this music was very unique to the slave culture because it took these Christian songs and they used it to kind of tell a little bit of their own story of suffering, their hard life. And when slavery ended in America, uh, you know the the, the average life of an African American, it didn't get better overnight. It didn't just improve magically when slavery stopped. It was still a really hard life. And in the decades and decades and decades after the American Civil War, 
life for African Americans was not easy, and so they continued the tradition of singing these Christian songs, these gospels. Over time, the gospels grew and evolved. And it's from this musical tradition that the blues was born and jazz was born. And with the invention of the radio and the invention of record players and the telephone and TV, this music grew and continued to evolve and take a new shape. So as a result, as a result, in in the in the early nineteen fifties, the gospel music and and blues music and jazz kind of came together in some ways to make a little bit of a of a new kind of music that you had to sing. And this new form of music that came from the gospel tradition and then the jazz and the blues combined like a cocktail, right, uh, was soul. And one of the earliest people to sing soul music was Ray Charles. And Ray Charles was a very important musician in the 50s because he made this music popular. Yeah. So if you listen to any uh, music from Ray Charles, you'll get a taste of soul music. And this is just the very, very early days, very early days of soul music. Another person who is very influential um, uh, in the development and the popularity of soul music was Sam Cooke. Sam Cooke. Yeah. Yeah. And in the 50s and the 60s, he was very popular. He sold a lot of music. His music was played on a lot of radios. And and this was this was soul. He played soul music. And with this eventually came uh, record producers and record companies who wanted to capture this sound and be able to package it and market it.